when you look at the the Queen, uh, when you look at the Seasons Holidays Queen Mother Champion Chase, you ask yourself, are you going to back masterminded at odds on, or are you going to lay him? Are you against a great horse? Well, last time he was very, very impressive at Newbury, but he beat Trees that day, ladies and gentlemen. Before that, he disappointed Adney at uh, Cheltenham, and it was all out of punches down to beat, um, to beat Big Zeb. I just wonder whether that run two years ago when he'd done that tremendous speed figure and amazing performance has done for him. I can't be backing him at four or five, ladies and gentlemen. Call me a fool, but I just can't have him. Horses who win the Arkle chase the previous season always come back and run well in the champion chase. Azertiop, Moscow Flyer, Remittance Man, the list is endless, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of horses who run one in the Arkle, causing distance, come back the next year and run well. Of course, Kalahari King was second last year in the race. He's a five to one poke. But I can't understand why the horse who beat him last year, for me, fair and square, for Paddy the Plasterer, is around a 12 to one mark. Twice the price. Why, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not the brightest lamppost in the street, I know that. But for me, the value each way has got to be for Paddy the Plasterer. Now, I was on a panel the other, way, the other day over at Leopardstown with Tommy Cooper, his trainer, and I watched the horse jump after the race, and he jumped superbly. Tony McCoy's going to ride him. I can see for Paddy the Plaster right there from the front. He jumps like a stag. He's a tremendous leper. He's a great leper, as the Irish say. For me, the each way bet in this race is for Paddy the Plasterer. All the boys in the goat and goat stand who owe him, Charlie Chalkin, Johnny and the boys, for Paddy the Plasterer. Each way, 12 to 1.